During his public ministry, Jesus made it a point to get up before dawn every day so he can be in solitude and have quality time with the Heavenly Father in prayer. His extraordinary busy schedule is no reason for him to forego with his prayer time. Prayer is indispensable for Jesus. The disciples notice this. So at one time, they approach him after finishing his prayer to make this important request. Lord, teach us to pray, just as John told his disciples. And Jesus teaches them, this is how you are to pray. We take a note that Jesus teaches not much on what to say, but on the how, that is the manner and attitude in prayer. He contrasts true prayer with that of the pagans who usually babble in prayer, reciting a long list of divine names, hoping that one of them will force a response from the deity. The dictionary says that Bible is to talk rapidly and continuously in a foolish, excited, or incomprehensive way. Let us therefore consider some important points on prayer to make it truly pleasing to God. First, in prayer, what really matters is the sincerity of our hearts more than the words recited. Hence, he exhorts us, in praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Second, prayer is essentially communicating with God, and communication is always a two-way relationship. One party talk, the other listens, and vice versa. This is the most effective way to deepen our friendship with God. Third, in prayer, we acknowledge that we are mere creatures in the presence of the Almighty God. Hence, our first and main concern is not telling God on what to do, but on what we should do according to His will. Jesus shows this in His prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane during His agony. My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Fourth, there should be no trace of selfishness when we pray. That is precisely why in the Lord's Prayer, the pronouns used are the plural form in the first person, our instead of my, we instead of I, and us instead of me. It is essentially therefore a community prayer of God's children gathered together as brothers and sisters. And finally, we have to remind ourselves that although we are so familiar with the, our Father, every single word in it comes from Jesus. Therefore, it may be considered lack of respect when we recite it hurriedly and without really reflecting on it. Needless to say, when we pray the Our Father, we are to recite it with the full attention, devotion, and love.